A major investment in the future of healthcare in America, the Mayo Clinic School of Medicine, receiving a $200 million gift from philanthropist Jay Alex, the largest ever made to the clinic. Joining me right now in a Fox Business exclusive are Alex Partners founder Jay Alex and Mayo Clinic CEO Dr. John Noseworthy. Great to see you both. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm really happy. Wow, Jay, what a gift. Congratulations to you that you're able to do such a thing for Thank the Mayo you. Clinic. You know, Mayo is such a deserving institution, and the medical school is one of the top ranked medical schools in the country and to be able to be involved with them and help them with their mission is just a really great opportunity for us. And, and this is going to help the medical school a lot, Dr. Noseworthy, and you're also going to be able to attract new talents with this. Thanks, Maria. Yes, this is really going to, going to help us a great deal, attract the best students from all over the world, from all backgrounds, regardless of their ability to pay for medical education. And it'll help us with new curriculum and dual degrees and innovative way of teaching and technology and all those good things. It's a wonderful gift. We're really grateful to Jay. And you are now going to be on the board. Yes. Tell us what you want to see from the Mayo Clinic and how this money can be best used. Well, what this gift is about is really helping attract uh, the best students for the medical school to train the doctors of the future. The country's facing a crisis that we're going to need a probably 110,000 doctors in the next 10 years that we don't have today and we don't know where they're going to come from. So we need to train more doctors and we have to provide the money and the support and the scholarship to help those students get into medical school and have the country have the right doctors in the future. And Mayo can do that. Well, you're right. It was a major issue in this past election. Absolutely. Everybody said that health care was the number one matter that, that, that was very important to voters. The Democrats taking the House in the midterm elections and they say one of the priorities is healthcare in America. So, John, tell us where the needs are right now. Tell us what your view is in terms of what needs to be done to take healthcare up to the next level. So, the majority of Americans are concerned about access, coverage, and the cost of healthcare, and the need for transparency to drive down the cost, but also improve the outcomes. And we, we support all of that. From Mayo Clinic's perspective, it's more than cost. It's certainly cost, but it's also outcomes and the performance and how well healthcare performs. And at Mayo Clinic, we're all about serious and complex illness and how to find answers quickly and effectively and provide patients with the best possible care. So the doctors of the future are going to have to deal with transparency, coverage, cost, uh, access, technology, how to drive the safest and highest technology, most affordable health care system, which we don't have. And at the moment, as you know, we're tied to these election cycles every two years. So it's this and that and this and that. And until the country decides that it's really a priority, for the citizens, we're not going to get that long-lasting answer that we need. Well, you talk about outcomes. You know, we've been all about prevention these last several years, talking about getting ahead of disease. How might that money be used toward getting ahead of disease? And when you look at the needs in this country today, I mean, I know we haven't done enough work or we, we need more money for Alzheimer's, for example, and, you know, issues related to the brain. Where, where are the needs in that regard? Well, I think we have really leading edge technologies now. We have artificial intelligence coming online. What AI is going to do for medicine and the digitization of medical, you know, personal health data is going to revolutionize how we can do diagnosis. And of course, with, you know, early, early intervention, diagnosis and prevention, we can really change outcomes for all, all people who have serious, complex medical problems. And Mayo is leading the way on that. This is a really important point that you make because AI is able to work with doctors Correct. to improve the outcomes. Isn't that right, yeah, Dr. That's, that's absolutely right. And I think it's also prediction. It's, it's early diagnosis, but it's also predictive genomics, if you will. Knowing what we know about people, who's likely to be at risk for this or that, so you can diagnose it early. So it's all of that together. And the young kids who want to do medicine, want to have a life of service, they need to have that kind of an education to prepare them for that. What have you done differently in terms of AI at the clinic? We have well over 100 projects trying to predict how to read x-rays better, how to predict from genomics how things uh, will play out. We're working it right into the to everyday life at, at Mayo Clinic, monitoring patients' hearts, who's at risk for heart disease, that sort of thing. And, and this money will go toward getting new students who will be looking at AI as part of their curriculum. I mean, very different than the doctors in the past. Exactly. Medical education is going to have to evolve quickly now and keep up with the new technologies and new breakthroughs in science and apply it right into the clinic for people. And Mayo Clinic can lead the way on that with this gift and with the research and the development it has. Mayo has three shields with clinical care, education, and research. And the combination of all those three working together 
together is what this gift is going to allow Mayo to do. We'll be offering a Master's of Artificial Intelligence. Oh, Master's, Master's of AI, wow. Master's of AI, a Master's of Regenerative Science, a Master's of Advanced Biotechnology and Bioengineering. All of these, the new wave will be right in the curriculum for the students who are willing to spend, let's say, an extra year to get that additional training. Before we go, <clears throat> where have you seen the most progress in terms of outcomes, in terms of disease? I, is it cancer? Is it somewhere else? Heart disease? Where have you seen the biggest outcome? I think it's in all the serious illnesses, Maria. We're actually measuring outcomes much better. The, the quantitation of outcomes, quality of life, life expectancy, readmission to hospital, cost of care, all those things are now being put on, on scorecards to see how, what is the investment in healthcare doing to reduce the cost and improve the outcomes. So that quantitative outcomes research, it's still in its infancy. But it's absolutely critical if we're going to have the best health care system in the world. Yeah, and particularly as you see spending from the NIH dropping, you need private uh, investors and, 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 and private practitioners to come right. in and, and help the situation. Well right. said. And, 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 and there, here comes you, Jay Alex. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank Great you. to see you both. Thank you very much for joining Thanks, us. Thank you, John Noseworthy and uh, Jay Alex, joining us there.